All right, it's opening morning, 2021, another Pennsylvania rifle season, and Ron is up and had his breakfast, and he's ready to go. <laughs> yep. Uh, last night we were all excited. Uh, we have snow on the ground. It's cold, no rain. It's going to be a hunter's paradise. Uh, with this snow on the ground, you're able to see them coming a long distance away. Uh, easier blood trail, easier drag. So these are the kind of mornings and days that we all hope for when we go hunting. Did you change your hunting any different when it gets colder like this? Yeah. Give me a high of 36 today. Yeah, I have uh, goose stone pants with uh, wool coveralls, and I brought in a whole bunch of hand warmers. You know that I'm going to have on my uh, body, hands, uh, thermos of hot coffee. It's going to be tough to stay warm, but uh, I've got enough hand warmers, like about five of them, six of them. Yeah. So be okay. <laughs> You'll be using your 30 out six again. Oh right? yeah. But I have my AK-47 uh, Russian shirt on, and for those of you that don't know Russian or read Cyrillic, it means uh, Michael Kalishnikov Top Shelf Weapon System. We like. AKs. There you go. <laughs> All right. So my dad, he usually takes the 30 30. He's taking his 30 out six out. That's it up on top. Taking it out this year. He's going to be in the upper shanty. And here's checking out the camp. Some of the bucks from previous years. Caribou from up in Canada. Robbie, you're going to be up out on the tree line where Danielle and I have been in videos in previous years. Okay, we have a good morning. What are you going to be hunting with? 243. Two, 243. Now that's what I'm taking today too. <laughs> shot more buck with that gun than, than every other gun I have. Well that's what I was just going to talk about because that's what I'm taking is the 243. Yep. What kind of 243 are you using? That's a Remington pump. Remington pump. Our special sign is up again. Yes. It brings us luck. It brings <laughs> us confidence. And we're just about ready to move out now into our stands. It's actually the most perfect day. There's no wind, John. Yeah. It's going to get sunny. It's we cloudy now, but we got snow on the ground. We have our thermal High of 36. We're ready, baby. Everyone, we're ready to walk out the door. All right, well, it's opening morning. I'm tucked in here on the shanty. I'm hunting by myself today. First time in a long time that I've been hunting for by myself on an opening day. Usually not my wife or uh, with me or cousins from Mississippi. Now they are up. I might take them in the evening, try to take a doe. Uh, but uh, I'm mostly trying to get a doe right off the bat. That's what I'm gonna try to do. And uh, we'll see Ron and my brother and dad. Dad is up in the upper shanty, so we'll see how that all works out. But we're ready to go. Got the heater going, and I'm also decorated for Christmas. <laughs> already hearing lots of shooting. It's already it's only seven o'clock. That snow is helping people see deer for sure. second buck that walked right through there. Just a little one. He's coming back. I don't know what these deer are doing. Maybe getting bumped by another hunter. But that's just the small buck. He's using his nose pretty good. Some talking going on. I'm listening to some sermons. <laughs> I can uh, afford to get away with stuff like that in uh, in a deer shanty. So I'm going to take full advantage instead of just sitting here in the quiet. I can just lightly, lightly play a sermon. And so here in uh, 
Pennsylvania, you have to have, we have antler restrictions, which are an incredible blessing, to be honest with you, uh, because the these um, antler restrictions are making very nice bucks in the state. Um, bucks that our grandfathers would have never imagined um, being a common thing. Uh, I mean, when I first started hunting, When I first started hunting, if you, 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 they went by the points. Like if you shot a nine point, you made the local paper. It doesn't matter how big the rack was. It was because it had nine points. It's crazy. Um, but deer hunting has extremely uh, improved in the state of Pennsylvania. And it's all due to antler restrictions, which is a product of quality deer management. And, uh, you know, there's, there's no right and wrong way to do quality deer management, but the basic principle of it is to increase the quality of the deer herd. So if that means taking more doe out and not shooting any bucks, that's what it means. If it means shooting more deer, bucks, whatever in general, that's the way it goes. All right, well, my dad just said he shot at a buck. He said he got down out of the stand, just happened to look over and see it, so it sounded like an offhand shot, probably over 100 yards. So I'm going to go up and we're going to see if he hit it. When I decided to shoot, I took the safe off, and then he stood in the middle. He started going through this stuff. Oh. And I hollered, and he stopped, and I pulled, and he jumped real high, and his legs went together, so... I may have hit him a little behind him. Well, he said he'd come out of the stand. He, he was coming him. down here, so. Headed down. Yeah, we'll take a look. All right. There are deer tracks all over the road. Yeah, I saw two does that came up. Huh. Over there came by. Yeah, look at all these tracks here. Huh? Look at all these tracks. Must have been from this morning. Early. Oh, right here he is. Yep. He jumped right there. Right here. Let's see here. Down. 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 Must, must have been, have been where he's right here. Or... Those are different tracks. He ran, he jumped. Yeah. Here are those tracks. Yeah. So I must have shot. That's about a hundred yard shot. Right about here. Yeah. And he jumped. Well, we'll walk down here and see what we can find. Uh, there's blood there, but then there's tracks here with blood. Looks like he went down over there. Wait, there he is. Where? He's laying right there, dead. Where? Right there, hung up on that branch. Oh. He's a nice one. Oh. He's laying right there. I did get him. Now. You did. <laughs> he didn't start bleeding. No, he didn't here. start bleeding for another 30, 40 yards, or well, at least 30 yards until he, he started bleeding. 40 he only, yards. Yeah, he only went 40 some yards. It looks like, well, look at this. It looks like he came over here and, and then around. and then turned around he was dying turned around ran down there came over here and stopped and then turned around yep that's what happened because these are all his tracks yeah yeah but this blood only started right here yeah and there's not much of it there's some blood right there so right there's the shanty watch it might be slippy Yeah, it is a nice one. Yeah, because I I wanted to look at him in the scope before I decided yeah. if I was going to shoot him. Oh, 
Oh man. That's a big deer too. It's already kind of laying near for the I know. For the picture. <laughs> Look at here. Under, going under brush and fighting. It's got scar. Let me take the camera off this tripod. See right here. Yeah. Got him right in the front shoulder. All right. Dad got his first buck. That's your first buck, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice one. Yep. He's been passing deer up for, you could say, decades. Wait for a nice one. Yep. Uh, yeah. All right. He's got. He's pretty heavy there around the base, and he thins out. But he's got real long, real long beams. Beam's real good. He's got that one G2's real tall, and then he's got a short G2, and then his G3 over here's really tall. I wanted something at least twice the length of his ears. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say he's probably good, probably Just came 17 out. inside. Just came out by himself. Well, let's take a look here. Let's see, where did he? Right there. there. Yeah. Wow. That's a little. Yep. Right yep. There. Huh. Yeah, that's a nice one. So there's one of the things that uh, they change now. You can see the date. Uh, you got to mark, you got to uh, cut your date out of your tag. So that's new this year. So you guys make sure you guys are doing that. Uh, so, see, so take out November and the date. That's a pretty big flock. Tagging, tagging the deer. There he is. Nice, big bodied buck. I'm gonna say he's gonna be probably once high 160s. I'm gonna guess for weight, maybe in the 170s. He's a pretty good sized deer. So, all right. Well, we're gonna get him out of here. Well, <laughs> I can't believe my dad got his first buck. He could have killed a pile of nice basket rack eight points that would make anybody happy over the years. Um, you know, he he always said he also wanted to shoot a giant spike that was over 12 inches long, <laughs> which you can't do that now because of antler restrictions, but, and, and he just enjoyed being out in the woods. I mean, he hunted a lot, and it wasn't about um, just getting antlers to tell people he shot a buck. Um, he wanted something that, you know he was happy with and that's you know if you're happy shooting a small one shoot it if you're happy shooting a big one then wait for the big ones now my cousin Robbie he's up up on the tree line he said he's seen about a buck every half hour and he just said he saw a monster bear walk past the stand and it headed towards Ron so if it went past Ron I'm sure Ron has a pretty good story about it well it's warming up now and I moved up here to the upper shanty. As soon as I got in here, I saw a doe take off. And I don't know if it heard me or if it was just coming, passing through when I got up in here, but sun's coming out, snow's melting. It feels like it's a little warmer than the high of 36 is what they were calling for today, but they should be able to get to the food pot a little easier. But uh, it's kind of strange because, um, you know, usually this side of the hill has a lot of deer. Um, and my dad and me were pretty much on this side. And then my cousin Robbie, he was sort of up on top, but then Ron was down over and so was my brother. And I talked to him and he saw, I think, I think he saw like six bucks. Um, he thought he saw a big one, but he couldn't get a real good look at it. Um, it was kind of skylining and it went into the brush. Uh, my cousin Robbie, he saw 
I forget how many bucks. Ron saw two six points. Um, saw a big bear. Uh, and so they're seeing a pile of deer. I think Ron said he saw 23. And I saw five this morning. <laughs> two bucks. Um, I think the other ones were maybe doe. I don't know. As soon as I saw them, they were plants. And my dad only saw, I think, two doe up here. Um, way out at the end here. And then he was getting, you know, and then that buck showed up. So the deer really don't seem to be moving like they should. Hopefully that deer start getting up on their feet here soon. Start moving around and uh, see what happens. Here's the view. All right, my cousin Robbie, he's coming up. He's going to walk out the tree line and see if he can get anything out there. Well, he was waving. He must have saw some deer, he pulled his gun up. But they must have ran down over. All right, well, I got a little half rack. Is he half rack? Yeah, a little half rack. Three point, two point. Anyways, just heard a couple shots. So my cousin Robbie just says he has a buck down. And then right after he shot, we heard another shot. So it's either my brother or Ron, both somebody shot. So um, he definitely has, my cousin Robbie definitely has, he says maybe an eight point, something like that down. So pack up, we're gonna go check out their deer now. All right, well, if you guys follow the videos, you know where this stand is. This is where Robbie was this morning. And uh, we put a new food plot in right here. And uh, what's that, Ron? Hey Ron, was that you shooting? I got one right up above you. To the uh, turkey feeder road. Tell them I we'll be. Uh, and I should have it dressed and out there and tagged and notched. Thirty nine eight points. All right. Tell them we'll be out at the turkey feeder. We'll feed. be out too. I got an eight point up here. We're gonna get it ready, put it in the truck, and we'll meet you down there. Okay. All right. Let's go check it out. The bucks are dropping today. I thought it's been a pretty rough day. They're starting to move all of a sudden. Ron is just down through these trees, probably a hundred yards or so. So I bet these two bucks were running together and yeah. You shot the one and the other one went to Ron. Well, you didn't go 20. Didn't go 20 with the 243. Oh, there's where it dropped where, where he hit it. Oh, there it is. I didn't even see it. Not yeah, a massive yeah. guy, but. I think I see Hold him Not up there. massive, but it'll do the trick. Yeah, hold your gun up there. 243. Yeah. A little late. I think I videotaped an eight point in the rock pit during the early muzzleloader season. He was standing in the rock pit when those guys came up for early muzzleloader. And he looks just like that one. A yeah. Little tighter than I thought when I saw him, but I could only see him from the side. Yeah. Yeah. He's been rubbing, he's got barking his antlers. Alright. See where'd you where'd you hit him at? Up there. Pretty high. Yeah. But was he quartering towards you or? He was coming. If he was coming up he was coming this way. Then he was kinda quartering towards you. Probably hit that femoral artery running along back and bled out the way he bled and slid down there well, so the guys are shooting we're gonna go get Ron yep so we're going out to get Ron's buck I'm looking down here I see a deer we just saw a bunch of doe this is this a hard you see yeah he's looking right at us 
Here, stand up here. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. I got a good video of it looking at us. About the same size as that one. There's another one down there. Yeah. Is that a buck? That's big half rack. Yep. Remember that big half rack yep. I was telling you about? That's him. Yep. Man, all these doe are down here in the bottom. Mm -hmm. We come up here and there were doe running all over the place coming out here to come get Ron's deer. Jeez. All right, Ron's got his deer. Boy, you two are brothers. Yeah. Joy, give me a shot, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> We're back at Leatherwood. Yeah. 30 aught six rains again. John's dad shot one 30 aught six. They rule, baby. Yeah. I don't even have time. I'm gonna. I'm, I should get him right here. I'm just out of breath. I didn't get mine yet either. Well, we'll I'm, probably just take them back to camp. Those do. Oh, they, they were real close. Yeah, yeah. Six feet away, and they're just hopping. One actually stopped. She looked me over, I'm out of here, boom, and she jumped. <laughs> it was crazy. So you saw 30 deer. I did. My buck was number 27, and the three you just jumped while I was dragging yeah. that out made it 30 deer. All righty. All right. Yeah, those are brothers. Rob, Twins. Tailgate. Ready? Yep. Robbie Truett and I are awful proud of these here bucks we done shot. 30 out 6, 243, just like the video said. Both great Western PA deer rifles. There's the proof. Yeah. The proof. Now, how far did yours run? Where'd you hit it? Mine, I broke his back. He was running. Well, that's the same way Robbie's yeah. did then, yeah. And then he flopped around and he rolled down the hill and then he tried to get up, but he didn't have any uh, legs because his kind of back was broke. And then I scoped him, I scoped him. I was gonna think, uh-oh, maybe he'll get up and run. Uh, I didn't need a second shot. He rolled into a log and he just stopped. Yeah. You know? So. Uh, I just wanted to pass along one tip. Yeah. It's that old thing again. At 12 o'clock, I heard the trucks leaving, the doors shutting, people exiting the woods because they're going back to camp to warm up. We didn't leave, we okay. stayed in. <laughs> and just when they got back after camp warming up, eating pie, that's when the deer started moving and they moved in us. So my message to you is there's two things that have killed more deer than any rifle, shotgun, pistol, or bow. And they are patience and determination. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right? All right. Do it. Brother got a buck. <laughs> they just brought it back. Probably full of corn or something. Brother, get a picture of Kale. Over here. Beauty of He's got a pretty, he's got a blade for a brow tine. Brow tines are bladed. Wow. This is the first time that we've taken four buck off on opening day. Let's lift them up and I'll put them in. Four eight points today. That's going to be, and I'm going to frame it. <laughs> I would say another Super Bowl year, Ron. Absolutely. If we Turn had John side. in here, yeah, if Dad's just, but his is already at the taxidermist to get European mount. Yeah. What year was that? The, the three? 2003. Okay. This is the most, and this beats the last one. Last time we had three uh, bucks killed. Now four eight points, and there's still oh, they get there's still a couple more. big ones out there yet. A few more days, and then the next week. We've been whacking the dough off like crazy, and I don't know if that just brings all the bucks to the few dough that are around. Yeah. But got it out. Man. All right, so I'm editing the video right now, and we were talking about my dad's buck, and I was going back through my trail camera pictures, and then I realized that I seen this buck before, not only this year. But last year also, uh, here's the trail camera pictures that I got this year. wasn't that long ago, um, November, um, and you can tell by, at least on the right side, the G2 is smaller than the G3. It's opposite side on the, on, the, on the deer's left side. But notice here in this picture, as the deer's walking away, notice the deer's right ear. Um, it's 
like laying, laying down. It's kind of hanging down. And it doesn't really stick out and, and is that noticeable at the moment until you go back to last year's photos. And here, check out this buck. You see this really nice eight point. And he has on the right side his ears flopping down. Then you think, okay, well, maybe he's just doing that on purpose. Well, here's the second picture because I have my camera set on a three burst rapid uh, shot. The second picture, you can see his ear is still the same way. And not only that, but also um, this year back, it was probably early, early August, late July. I saw this deer. He was going to cross a road in front of me, but he stopped right next to the road and let me go by. And when I went by, I could tell he was a nice buck, but I noticed the first thing, his ear was hanging down. So this deer always had something broken, his ears messed up. So we we're looking back at the photos, I believe, because I do know that nobody got that deer last year, um, uh, the one with the broken ear. And, but I never found his sheds, never saw him except for that one time earlier this year. Nobody saw him in rifle season last year either. And he don't know where he was staying at, but that's the buck that my dad got. So you can definitely tell he gained a lot on his beam length. Um, not much on his width, but definitely his height and his beam length. Uh, so he did gain a little bit from one year to the next. So you're looking at a three and a four, three, most likely three and a half, possible four and a half year old buck. Uh, which is really great and uh, so that was my opening day hopefully you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> I was trying to shoot a doe and I just couldn't even make it happen I was helping everybody get their bucks out of the out of the out of the woods but it was a great opening day guys had a blast and that's what it's all about